I would hope you <gasps> Hold up, hold up. Dang, that's wild. Man, I was just walking around and somebody somebody dropped somebody dropped their Super Bowl ring. <laughs> hey man, that's it's Steve. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, so right now we're on our way to New Jersey, uh, but it's for a good cause. It's to see and work out with Steve Weatherford, who uh, is a former Super Bowl champion. He's about to retire from the Giants officially. And really cool guy, got a lot of good uh, work happening. He's got a cool new program called Armageddon and uh, does a lot of work with kids and charitable organizations. So. Cool guy, man. We just met him last week, and we're gonna go hook up with him and get a workout in. Oh, what up, man? Right. Hey, uh, you ready to go? Chill, man. Chill, man. How's yeah. the drive? It was cool. It was cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It took that long. What's going on, man? I got my pop and cherry, bro. I'm ready to go. Nice. <laughs> Like you can definitely do it. I feel like I'm, my shoulders are really probably my strongest muscle, but yeah, it's not strength, it's practice. It's like, right. Oh, it's a little. I mean, okay, it's a little strength. bit of skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but usually, when I try to like, when I tried to learn how to do a back tuck, it wasn't because I couldn't jump high enough. Yeah, I was like yeah. a seven foot high jump in high school, but it was just like it was like one one little. I could do that. Yeah, right? you can do it now. Oh yeah, I can. We do it right now. Ooh. Still got it, 242. <laughs> All right, Brian, you gotta bust yours out. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I put the hands. All right, guys. All right. Right. Yeah. I just said. <laughs> Yo, what up with that? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. I am here with the man, former. I'm here with the man. <laughs> Figured out on my own, so like this is a normal drift yeah. when you're when you're curling. Move the bar out, so like, like right on the pads of your finger. When you're just doing curls in general, yeah. And you can do lighter weight, and it's actually like more difficult uh, because you're not when you're it's deep in your hand like that. You're able to use more of your wrist. Mm. So the further you can move the weight out, is the more the less your wrist is going to be able to do this. It's going to put uh, more so tension on your cheek. Yeah. Right. So it's gonna it's gonna put more of a difficulty on your bicep, and it's gonna decrease the ability of your forearm to use it. I've been training for 50 years, I never heard that. So. Let me know if you see me making a face, Johnny. No face. That's something I'm working on because I, I might be on this. I might be on a TV show soon, like, a, like some competition. I'm so hungry, man. I'm gonna eat it all. Yeah, yeah, some VCAs. Oh. Like, I'm getting, like, I'm feeling hungry. Oh. And I don't want it to stop, you know. I got, a, I got, I got, I got bars and beef sticks in my back. Oh, no, this is cool, this is cool. Like, I, I don't want to eat food. Oh, this, oh, this is the anti-catabolic bag. Oh, so weird to keep this on you. He's got, like, you know, just simple proteins. I'm gonna take one for after, go. Okay. So. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. This is amazing, Steve walks around with this. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna steal I'm gonna steal this idea from you. I'm gonna start walking around with a bag of fucking with a beef paws. Paws, 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 paws. We just finished high volume Armageddon. Um, and I've been following Brandon on social media for probably uh, three months and then I reached out to him. I noticed he was a New York guy. I said, dude, I love your content, I love your vibe, I love what you're giving to the fitness community because there's so many people in the fitness community who are only in it to serve themselves, whether to make money or to build their brand. And I feel like with Brandon, he has such an even keel of being an entrepreneur business guy, you know, the owner and originator founder of Bro Labs, um, supplement company, but he also just gives away so much free content. Hello, Steve. On, on Instagram and Snapchat, Snapchat Weatherford 5. That's it. Weatherford 5. And it's, it's, it's 
Instagram the same? Everything's the same. Weather for five. I got Great. weather for five. Trademark. <laughs> Muchos gracias. Thank you, man. My pleasure, man. Good time. Awesome. Yeah, we just did that workout, man. Almost two hours long, man. Dead. Dead meat. Brian wanted to go back to Manhattan to eat. And I was like, man, I can't wait till, man. I gotta eat right now in New Jersey. That's how you know I'm hungry. I'm ruining the thing, New Jersey. <laughs> there can be a lot of synergy between our audiences, obviously. Yeah, no, I like, I like Steve, man. He's cool. But some guys are cooler off camera, but he's like just cool. You know what I'm yeah. Like some guys, like they're weird on video, but they're cool off camera. You know? Yeah, they take different personas. He's just yeah. like, he's not. He's, he's huh. he is in his, in his dope, man. He's in his dope lifestyle. He's getting like chill, chilling it. It's been a long time since I've been sore. There will be soreness. Maybe. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I know I'm. I don't, I don't really get sore anymore. Man. But you don't normally work out like that. Yeah, I mean, I never isolate. Like like that I do many. full body work. Yeah, never that, never that many reds. But I don't know, man. I'll be surprised if I get sore. I'm be honest with you. All right, check back in. Yeah, we'll we'll see. I'll let you know. I'll let you know if I'm really sore. I'll let you know how sore I I get. I don't get to, I'm just more just exhausted. You know, just, uh, two two hours of working out. I usually get it in like you know, 60, 90 minutes. You know, so. we were there, we were like you know, jumping around and talking a lot. Like, you know, like, yeah. You know. But the momentum stayed up. I mean, no, regardless no, of all that, it wasn't. It wasn't like blackness. My biceps are shot. Yeah. Feel it so much. Armageddon. Armageddon. It's the end of my biceps. Armor getting ready to eat. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's a, it's a lady Uber driver. Yes, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah if you're right. Yeah, you, <laughs> listen, all your, the, 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 the whole reputation, at least in my mind, of all women Uber drivers is in your hands. You got, you got a lot to live up to. The whole gender is dependent on you. <laughs> this is exciting. You ever had a female Uber driver, Brian? No, I have not. This yeah. is exciting. This is exciting. Yeah. For breaking new ground. Oh, I speak a little bit of Spanish. Yo, 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 yo habla, habla Espanol. Yeah, don't, um, desayuno para hombre. Yeah, si, 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 si. Si, uh, uh, fuetes, 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 una mesa y para, para agua de leche. Keanu, 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 the Matrix, <laughs> Keanu the Matrix, para mi. So, so yeah, I speak a little Spanish. No, you, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, maybe you don't speak Spanish. Huevos. Mango. Yeah, yeah. We, huevos. Uh, para hombre, para gringo. Okay, welcome. Okay. <laughs> First time I kissed the Uber driver. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope we see. I hope we meet again one day. Yeah. About to eat uh, in Capitol Grill. Some of my homies. Uh, this is kind of a secret business dinner, so I can't tell you who I'm with or what we're doing or what we're talking about. I do know that we're pretending it's my birthday because we always pretend it's someone's birthday uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Man. Have you ever felt like society has let you down? And even though you did everything you were supposed to, would you like me to help you make the most out of your life so you don't grow up regretting the past? How amazing would it be if me and my trusted friends were to present to you six hours of motivational, practical, and transformational information live on stage in a city near you? Hit the link in this post now to see what city we're going to next. Because we're going all around the world. For the next several weeks, I'm putting together a live, in-person, life-changing event in cities all around the world. Chances are, if you're watching this video, I'll be in the city near you. 
Some of the things we'll be speaking about in this event include the 11 rules for living a renegade lifestyle so you can live the bad life of your dreams. How to develop an unshakable level of self-confidence in everything you do, even if you're an introvert. How to get paid lots of money for your skills so you can stop trading time for dollars like a prostitute. 60 minutes of Q&A so you can get all your questions answered from me and my featured guest. How to discover what makes you great so you know what to focus on with all your strengths and live a life worth living and feel confident about your decisions. Practical techniques and best practices from two guest speakers who have proven results in their areas of expertise. How to pave your own way towards success and much, much more. Look, if you want to make this year the best year of your life, and make every year after that great as well. You need to get out your house and surround yourself with people who desire positive change, drive themselves further than the people around them, and understand the concepts of investing in yourself. These events that I'm hosting all around the world are your way to do just that. All you gotta do is go to renegadesummit.com right now and reserve your seat before all the spots are gone. I hope to see you soon.